Okay, here we have part four of our basic stitches. We've gone over the chain and the single crochet and the half double. Kind of using the same swatch here so you get a look at how they kind of build up on another. And now we're going to go on the double crochet. And with the single, when you went up a row, you chained one. With the half double, you chained two. Most of the time with a double, you're going to chain three. Um, sometimes it'll tell you in a pattern that the chain three counts as the first stitch. Um, if it doesn't say that, then it doesn't mean that. So basically what we're going to do is this would be our first stitch spot. So you're going to take your yarn over, just like a half double crochet, and you're going to grab it through. Now we're going to go through two loops and two loops. And if you notice, it's a little bit taller than the half double. Um, and here we're going to go again, yarn over, right into that nice little eyelet that the half double crochet makes for you. Through two loops and two loops. And this one tends to... I, I use it often, um, probably not as often as some of the other stitches, just because it gives you these kind of big bulky gaps. Now this is really good if you're working on something where you're going to put buttons in because then you don't have to worry about making any buttonholes. Um, a lot of times I'll do this um, if I'm making a cowl or something that requires a button because you can put a pretty decent sized button on there and just poke it through any of these spots so you don't have to worry about it being adjustable or anything like that. And you're going to keep on going in the same manner. Um, this one works out pretty easily. And if you notice, you can definitely check out the difference here. We have three rows of the single crochet, and then we have two of the half double, and then we have the double. And if you notice, the gaps in between, like I said, are going to get bigger and bigger. Um, and again, you're going to chain three, turn that bad boy around, and come right into that little eyelet, go through two, through two. And after a while, it it'll gets much, much easier to deal with. Um, the more you get used to it, it kind of becomes like second nature um, on doing this. So again, you're going to take your yarn over, come through the eyelet, come through, two hoops, two hoops. Pretty simple. It'll get to the point where you'll notice if you're doing it wrong. There we go, through two, through two. And again, I, I try not to pull my yarn too, too tight. Kind of leave it a little bit... I, I let the, the hook dictate where it's supposed to be. Um, it makes it a little bit easier when you're following a pattern and things along those lines. So here we have our basic stitches. We've gone from the chain to the single, half double, and now double crochet. So by now, you should be a little less intimidated when you see those patterns. Um, you now have down the basic stitches. You know the difference. You see the difference. You can even feel the difference. Um, the single crochet tends to be stiffer. Um, where the half double is a little softer, the double being, I guess, the most pliable. Um, I tend to be a middleman, apparently, because I'm more in here. Um, but eventually you'll find your favorites, figure out where you want to be, and best of luck. I hope you enjoy some of our more interesting stitches later on. Bye-bye.